Cold Q does some damage to Joshua Sings. Is he going to be able to take out Sap? Oh, almost that one-way smoke. Sap is right there. He takes out Sap. What a reaction. Now Joshua Sings going to be doing the Hellfire here. Cold Q knew that, though. He was baiting it out. And he gets the headshot through the Hellfire onto Joshua Sings for the 3K. Is he going to be able to clutch? Does he have time? I think he has time. That was incredible as Cold Cutie whips out the 3K. Look at this. So he knows that the what ult is going to come out, so he baits it out. See how fast he was on that for that knife. And look at that. Wall hacks. That was insane. Welcome to my Arato ulting in teleport? Well, I guess what that is going to be able to do is it stops mid from being played at all. So they are going to be shutting down any hope that the attacking team has of a proper B push. However, the B, the, the attacking team actually is stacking out of B long right now. This is perplexing. This is absolutely perplexing, and I have no idea what to think of any of this. However, as we see JMN utilizing his camera to try to find Viper in the smoke, but Viper is actually sitting inside of the teleporter. That's actually a very incredible play. It's huge brain move by Viper there. Now, they are going to be trying to fake out, grabbing the orb. Are they actually going to get the orb? No, lots and lots of shots are going to be fired, though. Let's see what run. the team is going to be doing. Oh, Killjoy ult! That's interesting. They are going to be able to do a B push here. Now, while I thought B was... Oh, no! <gasps> they all went through the teleporter. That's the biggest fake out. Let's see what Mikey can do here. They've got very limited time before the teams can rotate here. They're going to be pushing out, but Cypher's going to be right there. Mikey taking out Katsu. And Cold Kitty and Sap taking out Rod. Mikey getting the triple kill, taking out Sap. Oh, no, but they're going to be getting help out on Mikey, accepting his fate there. Joshua Singh gets a double kill there. It's now going to be a 2v2. Two two. Joshua Singh be able to triple kill, taking out JMN. What's he going to be able to do? Is he going to be able to get the, the ace here? Unsub is going to be playing. He's going to be ulting. This is incredible. He stopped the defuse from happening, but Viper is stopping them from pushing out. That's what he can do. Unsub. Oh, Joshua Singh's getting the 4K. That was incredible. Oh my god. That was crazy. Sap going to be doing what he can to hold him. Sap with the epic flick onto Katsu. But Kazu is going to be getting the bomb down here. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, he sees Rod. He takes out Rod as well. Just gonna be a 1v4, just gonna be Kazuyami, or 1v2. Let's see what Kazuyami can do. Kazu takes out Arato, gonna be 1v1. The Jet versus the Jet. What's gonna happen? Sap with the op, gonna be rotating out, trying to get the Phantom. There we go, he's gonna be using the smoke for fake defuse. They're gonna basically kiss, and Sap comes out on top with the 3K. Wow. There we go, the 1v1. They came up to each other just so close. They literally kissed. <laughs> and Sap walks away victorious with the op. The defender's picking up a round finally. And he has the spike. But if Juan Juni with his op tells us anything, it's that he is a force to be reckoned with. Nice escape there. He is going to be rotating. He's going to hope. Oh, no, he's not rotating just yet. He is going to be hoping, though, that no matter what he can do, him and this op can do some work. Looks like he's decided to save. Oh, but he takes the orb. That's going to give away some information. Mikey takes out Juni Wan with a one tap before Juni can even react. Absolutely unfortunate. Now, the defenders, surprisingly, still actually not that much economy after winning five in a row here. The attackers are going to be actually a little bit better off. Katsu almost whiffing, takes out JMN. Joshua Singh taking out Unsub. Does Unsub try to push out? Joshua Singh with a 2K, he takes out Tested as well. Mikey taking out Joshua Singh. Gonna be a 2v4 here. Still winnable by anybody here, especially Mikey and Rod. Those are two fraggers. Rod, though, missing his op shots on Katsu. Sap taking out Mikey. But Rod, he takes out Katsu. He's gonna have to heal, though, but looks like he's gonna be getting pushed here. <gasps> the flick on the Sap! Oh my god! Let's see here. The 1v2. If anyone can do it, it's going to be Rod. If he pre-fires that corner. Picked up the spike here. Oh, but he doesn't flick fast enough to take out an auto. Wow. That flick. Was that, was that going to be caught in this replay? 
Look at this. He goes for the heal. I didn't even see it happen. He did it, but I can't see it. My pea brain isn't big enough for that. That is insulting. Rod really showing what he's worth with that op. Damn. Now, Zap might have gone down after that pretty crazy flank. However, he gave them the information that the defenders needed. Now, here is Arato and Joshua Sings holding up on the site while Cold QD is going to be playing on both sites right now. He's playing in a nice rotate spot in CT while utilizing the camera on A. However, here's all the utility that's going to happen right now. Arato almost taking out Tested, but luckily Joshua Sings is there to finish it off. Joshua Sings going to be doing what he can. He's going to be getting pushed. JMN takes out Cold QD, Joshua trades it right out. And then Josh with the 3k takes out on something as well. So it's going to be a Mikey 1v2 here. Mikey takes out Otto. It's going to be a 1v1 here. But Joshua Sings with the 4k takes out Mikey. That was crazy. Replay? Let's see. Joshua Sings, after he takes out Tessie, he turns. He sees the gun and he takes out JMN. And then he just peeks out bit by bit to take out Unsub. And uh, then Mikey he hears the shots going out and... Uh, Boom, that was a very lucky spray transfer there. That Killjoy definitely could have killed both, but unfortunately though, the uh, the random spray patterns in this game, they really take away from what could be skill plays. It takes a little bit of damage, not dealing anything himself. It's a very slow start to the game. Let's see what's happening. Joshua Singh's getting ready to flash out here. He's gonna be met with Sap, who's ready with that Cypher Cam. Looks like he's gonna be hearing at least a little bit there's the information arrow, so the information arrow, not going to be finding anything. JMN going to be pushing out onto the side as well. But here we go. The bomb already going down. Red team taking everything. Sap getting traded off with Stain there. Oh, but Kaahi with those Sova arrows takes out ATEC immediately. Joshua Singh, though, trading it out. Now down to a 3v3 already. He's going to flash out. He's going to be able to find something. Finds another one on Dummy Thick. Mikey takes out one. Juni is now going to be down to a 1v3 as the defenders are going to be hard pressed to come out on top here. JMN healing up with his wall. Not the fastest heal in the world, but he's going to be doing what he can here. Is he going to be going for the save? He only has a pistol. He's got nothing to lose here. Let's see if he's going to be able to find at least something. He knows that taking out the economy is going to be the best thing. He's going to peek the wrong side first and Joshua sinks. Gets the 3k for the first round I'll win going to the attackers on Joshua Singh's team. You see Jammin holding a very, very upwards angle in mid. That's going to come in handy as we see ATEC push out. We see Stance getting ready to push out. We see Joshua Sings push out. Jammin finds Joshua Sings. He takes out Stance, but he's not going to be able to take out all of them. Joshua Sings gets the kill. ATEC here ready to back him up. It is going to be a 4v4 now. But what is this? Juan Juni waiting with a Bucky in Garage. They're not going to be able to push Garage. Luckily for the attackers, they don't. But the attackers, Joshua Sings, takes out Sap. That's going to be the two top frags on the defenders. Kaahi goes down as well. Joshua Sings picked up the 3K. Let's see what he can do. Can he get the ace? Stained takes out Juan Juni, taking away the ace from Joshua Sings. But it is just going to be dummy thick here. The 1v4. Now, the defenders, like I said, they are going to need every bit of advantage they can coming into the next half. He goes down. This is going to be the last round of the half here. See, it's a 5v4. Didn't expect that on the pistol round. That gives Dummy Thick a Vandal. That's going to be very useful here, especially coming into mid. Now, let's watch Sap here. He also is going to be taking this very interesting angle. But he bought Sap! Oh my god, that was unfortunate. Mikey takes out Cool MS, but he is going to go down by Dummy Thick. Darley seems still balanced. Uh, honestly... Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it's I I would say yeah because they've got one Juni and Kaahi. I think it's I think it's good Possibly I'm thinking about swapping Rod and potato uh, If you want to swap rod with dummy that works the same way. Oh, yeah potato is dummy thick by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I never thought I'll say those words in my life <laughs> <laughs> Oh, honestly, I've Clip never that. heard of the <laughs> potato before, but... There, we finally see the defenders picking up a round here, and uh, we're going to be getting into some more evenly stacked matches as far as economy goes, as the attackers and defenders are both going to be having pretty solid, well-rounded builds here. Now, let's see what Mikey's going to be doing. Same turret placement. And so, the alarm bot, as well as the... Uh, as well as these grenades here 
are in such good spots. Now, Mikey definitely has been playing Killjoy for a while and knows all of her utility and knows how to use it well. When you place a turret, you don't want to be able to place the turret to where when they push on site, they can shoot it before they go. You want to place the turret to where they have to deal with it after they get on site because getting shot slows you down. And Mikey definitely knows that. See, Rod, here's... Here's Tessit. He's going to be coming in, peeking out Mikey. Mikey sees him, but with just a sheriff, he's going to be missing that first shot, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be it. He's going to have to rotate away, but here's Jet here at Otto waiting up. Mikey sees his legs, and that's all he needs. He gets the headshot. He flicks right up. Sap takes out Rod and Mikey and Cold Cutie. Tessit taking out Joshua Sings as well, taking away Sap's ace, unfortunately, but here we are. Sap upgrading to the Spectre here. Going to be peeking out on Unsub, and he gets the headshot for the 4K for the win. Now that was a bra moment for the attackers. Once again, let's put that replay up here. Sap just taking out that 3K just off the bat. They all trickled in, unfortunately, and that was all they needed here. And then just holding that angle there, unsub. Look at that crosshair placement, it's beautiful. Alrighty, now, luckily the attackers did manage to save that round they've got a full buy here it's all vandals it's all phantoms that's very good especially since they also now have three yeah, ults speaking of ults we are going to be hearing an auto ult and to see not going to be finding much of anything though as the attackers are going to be full stacking on a katsu is he going to be ready for it? he hears something Flash he flashed out just the right time that's going to give him just a little bit of info here jmn with a double kill, Mikey taking out Katsu, Unsub taking out JMN though, it's already down to a 3v3. Cage trigger. Unsub gonna be getting the bomb down, luckily. The spike. And let's see what the team is gonna be doing here, Arato still has his ult ready. Alright, Sap putting all of his utility out on the site here, let's see what the attackers are gonna be able to do to defend the bomb plant. Rod takes out Arato as he pushes onto the site here. However, all of that, uh... Let's see here, Rod. Oh, Sap baits out the ultimate. He baits out Rod as well. Let's see, he's gonna be teleporting up. Cut out of the corner. Sap and Tessit taking out Josh and Unsub. Just gonna be Rod, they know he's in long. So as long as Sap can cover his teammate, but unfortunately, he can't. As Joshua sings, Molly takes out what just happened was that was that a molly joshua sings mollied onto the point just before he died and uh that was actually just enough to take out tessit as tessit was trying to defuse that's incredible oh my god should, uh, should do that i've been thinking about that but let's see here as we go in the defense finally picking up an op at auto gonna be fragging out with it we know that for sure Fortunately, it's not going to be a mid push here. Let's see what the teams are going to be deciding out here. We do see Omen going for a rather deep hold here. They are going to be going for mid, just not mid window here. Mikey going to be pushing out towards garage here. Sap going to be ready for it. Sap has a little bit of info though. He saw that. He saw that bullet. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming from now. The question is, is whether the timing of his peaks are going to work out or not. Is Mikey? And Rod, they're both going to be kind of bouncing back and forth, Sap waiting for the right time. But unfortunately, that time might have passed. No, it doesn't! Sap got the double kill, he gets the triple, he's going to get the fourth, he gets the fourth kill! Are we going to be seeing Sap ace here? Oh my god! It's just going to be Sap and Katsu here. Let's see if Sap can get the ace. Katsu going to be hard pressed here, but... to pull out the ace! Sap got the ace! Oh my god! Sap! Insane 4K! And then into the classic! I'm clipping that. That is incredible. Wow! You do love to see it. You love to see it, honestly. Just go off then, Sap. Damn! Arato with the op didn't even get to fire it. Sap, more like clap. <laughs> all right, unfortunately for the attackers, they used all their money. They're going to have to be uh, full saving here. No. What a game. Ooh. Dude. I did not fuck you. One Junior, you caught me off guard so hard. Boater Michael yeah. already is the best way yeah. for no esports. Oh, Caster, thank you. I'm the only one. 
Probably every time. <laughs> every time. Every probably time. Every time. <laughs> Yo, stance just popping off Let's... with that op. Yeah. Uh, the Dude, he's biggest a jet main now, bro. They, they, nerf his, they nerf his main, gets a new one. Yo, but that, 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 that Joshua main, Singh yeah, support dude. in the chat, though, I think that's what helped. I think that's overpowered. Um, yo, I honestly, dude, Kasu is just think, simping. Yo, I definitely think it was the stain support with the, uh, the flame. Stab the flame to support stain. Absolutely. <laughs> stain <laughs> just built different. Every time I every time I called out stained and I just looked in the chat, I saw people saying stained, built different. I just had to say built different every time. Are you still streaming? Hello, oh, my friend. Right. Absolutely. You guys are live to 90 people right now. Ah, uh, big yeah. one. Thank you. Yo, I remember Artie's in the last map, he says Stain didn't have his mouse turned on. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading chat. I was just oh, reading chat. Oh, I don't know who said that. Who said that? That's pretty funny. Damn. Well, I was, yeah. wa wasn't watching the stream, I just heard it. I'm like, dude, Damn, that's, dude. Oh, that's I'll, I'll run over that. The <laughs> Yo, what are all these, what are all these, like, copy Josh, pastas? Yeah, like Josh. What Dude, you... Joshua had support for him by people that were in the back of a pickup truck. Like they literally said, <laughs> Wait, like, you're like I, yeah, people literally put in the chat, I'm in the back of a pickup truck going 80 right now, but I'm out here to support Joshua Sings. Yo, Josh, what are you doing? Dude, there's, dude Joshua Sings literally copy has copy pasta? pastas. I saw Joshua Sings name on the <laughs> dude. You're Wait, Josh, what are you, bro? Are you just a popular? <laughs> He's kid, built dude? different, is what Josh He's is. He's built, built different. different. <laughs> I think Joshua, Joshua Singh is the best wrong. entry fragger, honestly. Attacker side, yes. I was on. I was in on time. both attacker side, yes. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the first two rounds, I was in my Zoom class. <laughs> <laughs> are you <Oops>. serious? <laughs> that is cool. dude, yep. that's, that's why I joined late too. Oops. So you were in a Zoom class and you still managed to top frag. That is incredible. Yeah, you were you were the MVP of the match. You were making plays. Good good you comments were from playing my teammates. Jet. Yes, you were playing Jet. I, was play I would jet, say perfectly. Man. Yeah, you were you definitely we could tell just by watching you had all the confidence. Just how you were playing. Let's see here. Oh no, that Soviet information arrow is gonna be revealing cold cutie to test it and test it just takes him out. That's a free ult there. That was a bad time to buy a, uh, oh no, Mikey with a double kill on Savage JMN. Joshua taking out Otto as well, shutting down the push here. Oh my God, Tessid. T not gonna be winning that fight against Rod with the op here. Oh my God. Let's see what he can do here. It's just gonna be a 1v4 Katsu here. All right, they, they know that he's not in Cubby, but Rod gonna be just trying to find that kill here Katsu I think he wants to save the op but unfortunately for him he's gonna be going up against three people peeking him at once here Ooh, that was a solid use of utility but nope Rod was waiting for it and here we go the defenders finding their energy they're gonna get back into it absolutely crazy 11 to 7 you guys know that anything can happen here in these tryouts and uh, man, that tested ult was great. And uh, unfortunately for Cold Cutie, Cold Cutie could have won that if he did not buy a shorty. If he had a classic, he actually would have been able to take out the information arrow before it landed. But unfortunately for him, he just had a shorty. Not going to be able to take out that information arrow from that range. And uh, that gave Tessit a free kill. But unfortunately for the attackers, it didn't quite work out since Rod was so fast with the rotation. They were able to hold it. Unsub getting a little bit of preemptive information. They know that it might be a little bit more A-centric here. Killjoy using all of her utility on B-site here. Unsub still soloing A, but unfortunately, the attacker is going to be pushing A. We know how successful they are with these. Let's see if it's going to work out for him this time as well. Rod going to be pushing in to help back up as Unsub calls it out that he's going to need some help here. A little bit of things happening, and... Rod and JMN get a trade. Sap picks up the double on Mikey as well. It's going to be a 4v3 here. The attackers have it. Sap going to be smoking out. But Cold Cutie. Oh, no. Joshua Singh's getting a double kill with his Hellfire on Sap and Tessin. We see... Oh my god, we see both breaches ult just to be on auto here, but Cold Cutie manages to hold it up here, and the defenders retake the site. Now that was so crazy to watch here. One of the things that happened was uh, the breach and the... Uh, so, so the breach ulted, which stunned them, 
and then Joshua Sings just ulted Hellfired onto the site and just absolutely ended the career of the attackers. And Arato was, had already pushed off site by then, so he had nothing else that he could do. As uh, we go into 11 to 8 here, Defenders picking up their third round in a row, and uh, well, the attackers are going to be kind of bouncing back and forth between whether or not they've got weapons, whether or not they don't. So it looks like this round they do have weapons yet again. It's going to be all Vandals, all Phantoms. Cold Cutie here with the op. The attackers know they're not pushing. They are definitely not going to be pushing C again. They know that op is there. Let's see what they're going to be doing. No, it's Joshua Sings. Takes out Rato. He takes out Tested too. That's humongous. The attackers getting shut down yet again. The defenders actually having a chance here. Hey, let's see what the teams are going to be doing. Joshua Sings team going to be starting the push here into A site. Are they going to be rotating here? We are seeing Kazu fighting Arato here in mid. Ooh, looks like Arato almost takes him out, but uh, looks like our team is still going to do everything they can here to be pushing up an A is Zap. He takes out Cold Cutie for the first kill of the game. Let's go forward and see what they're going to be doing now. Going to be going back off. They got the pick and then they're rotating. That's absolutely genius. However, we see all of the Killjoy utility in Garage and that's such a tight space for all of it. If they do decide to push Garage, it might not work out for them the way that they're intending it to. But let's see here. Rod going to be holding up on Seaside. He takes out Zap. The one tap on Zap. I love to see it. Now we are going to be seeing Tessin pushing out as well. Rod sees Tessin, but unfortunately he's caught with his hand down his pants. But Mike takes out Tessin. Kazu takes out Joshua. Unsub takes out Kazu. And Mikey takes out Unsub. It's going to be already down to a 1v3 here. But unfortunately for Arato, the whole team was just right there. Stacked up and ready. Now the attackers definitely had time to rotate. But the defenders capitalized on their unique positioning. And they were able to rotate as fast as humanly possible. And thankfully Rod was sticking on the site there. That smoke was able to slow him down just long enough for them to get through. And that was, woo, incredible. Alrighty. Let's see what's gonna happen here. The team pushing up, but Zap is ready. He knows the Killjoy's in there. He's going. He gets the headshot on Cold Cutie. But unfortunately, he isn't gonna be going for it. Oh my god, so many ults are happening at once here. Katsu manages to survive the Hellfire as he ults on the site. Tested Rod get the trade out. It's gonna be a 4v3 here, the attackers. And a deficit, Zerato picks up Mikey as well. Let's see what they're gonna be able to pull off here. Looks like the attackers are making sure they can do everything, but unfortunately, Sap with that judge is gonna just do amazing things. Katsu showing incredible trigger discipline here. As Joshua Sings doesn't check behind him. Katsu, he knows I'm spectating him. He's teabagging for that win. Wow. That trigger discipline is probably gonna be what saves around here. It is gonna be a 1v4. He's no, he says he's there's no way he can clutch this. There's no way he can clutch this up. It's gonna be a 1v4. But if he can clutch it up, that's gonna be the end of the game. Oh, but he gives himself away too early. Unsub takes out Katsu. And that is going to be the round. They make sure that the game can last at least one more than the defenders. Dude, I could go for 05, guys. Yo, Zell0013 saying, I wish I had a bod like Rod. Oh, no, that's not true. Nobody wants this bod. That's, hey, I can, I dad bods are in season. Oh, dude, I, I like how you don't even know, but you assumed. Oh, man, that's fun. But Where's honestly, not wrong. Where's that boy Casey? <laughs> oh. like, What's going to happen? Let's watch Mikey. He's going to be pushing in. Joshua Singh's going to be right there, though. Let's see. Oh, they're fully pushing in. Mikey taking out Sap's Leer before it can even do anything twice in a row. Zap takes out that sub though as Joshua Zing's gonna go cool cutie, but Mikey trades it out right away as Kazuyami takes out Zap's already gonna be down to a 3v3 here. And Nato takes out Rod, the attackers here having a one-man advantage. Let's watch here. Tessa taking out Nato and Tessa taking out Mikey! The 3k on Kazu! What? What? Tessa from up in heaven! We see him come out the corner and just say, hold my beer. He jumps down and calls to tanks the shot and nobody sees him jump down. And he can just clear the site. One, two, three. I don't care about your feelings. I care about this site, this bomb that I have to defuse. It, now we're seeing Tessid with these radiant plays. Wow. What? <laughs> Jesus!
utility to block the rotations. Oh, that's a broken camera placement here. Oh, but unfortunately, Zap was able to see it, detect it, he took it out. Rod gonna be pushing up early. In. Rod gonna be trying to see what he can do with this getting shot in mid here. He is able to hold this angle though. That's gonna be great for him as we check in on Arato. Arato pushing B, he is gonna be able to take out Tessit. Rod showing that trigger discipline. The 3K! Mikey though, trading it out, taking out Rod's gonna be down now into a 2v3 here. Wow, if Rod had just waited one extra second, he was gonna be able to take him all out, but it is already down to a 2v3. That was incredible here. Just gonna be up to Mikey and Arato now. They are both fully capable though. Let's see what they can do, but Sap! With the Sheriff, he takes him out. Just gonna be up to Arato here. But Sap with that headshot. Oh, but he doesn't get it. But Katsu comes out with the judge. He is going to be able to take him out in the end there. Wow. So let's watch once more as Mikey pushes onto the site here. And uh, now he has the spike. He's going to be looking for something to do. But he gets taken out by Sap. As Sap comes right up into heaven. That was crazy. And let's see here. Sap, he unfortunately missed those shots here. But Katsu was right behind him with the judge. And Sap sacrifice himself get down mr president taking those shots so sap could fly